What's up everybody? Today I'll be talking about another ISO 2022 compliant blockchain. This is Stellar. The adoption of blockchain tools and services in the real world is a work in progress. There's still a lot of uncertainty and obstacles to pass through before we're able to confidently say that our favorite crypto products today will be part of our future. This is especially the case when taking into consideration regulatory actions taken by the government to control cryptocurrencies. That being said, there are a handful of innovative blockchain networks that have worked towards providing real-world value. One example is Stellar, an open-source platform that's designed to make cross-border payments easier, cheaper, and more efficient. In this video, I'll be doing an overview of the Stellar ecosystem and answering some important questions, including what is Stellar, how does the Stellar network operate, what has the team accomplished so far, and what does the future of Stellar look like? Before we get down to business, for those of you that are new to the channel, my name is Summer, and I'd like to welcome you to Fire Hustle, where I dive into topics in crypto passive income and side hustles. If you enjoy this content, please hit that like button, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and turn on post notifications so you can take advantage of all the work I've done. It really helps the channel, and I would also really appreciate it. And remember, the crypto space comes with a high level of risk overall, and none of this is financial advice. Now, let's talk about Stellar. Stellar is a platform that was designed to accommodate cross-border payments. The platform was created back in 2014 by Jed McCaleb. He also co-founded Ripple, which is another blockchain-based payment network for cross-border transactions. The main difference between these two networks is that Ripple is geared towards larger financial institutions and banks, while Stellar is meant for the average individual. Stellar Stellar places a focus on individuals from developing parts of the world and those that may not be using traditional banking systems. The Stellar network is run by its own native currency called the Lumen token or XLM. The primary use for this currency is to pay for transaction fees on the network, but the token also can be used as an intermediate currency for Stellar users to perform quick trades. So someone in one country can send a payment in the form of their native currency, which gets converted to Lumens automatically, and then that gets converted into the receiver's national currency to complete the payment. This whole process only takes a few seconds, which is what makes Stellar such a powerful cross-border payment system. Now, Stellar can be considered a pretty centralized network due to the fact that there aren't many network validators and this gives the organization a lot of control over the cryptocurrency. On that note, of the 50 billion XLM tokens that exist, about 20 billion of them are in circulation while the remaining 30 billion are in the hands of the Stellar Development Foundation. This is a non-profit company based in the US that helps support the ongoing development of Stellar tech. But one major pro about Stellar is that the network is compliant with ISO 2022. In case you aren't aware, ISO 2022 is an upcoming standard system for financial information. It's like a common language or model accepted globally for exchanging electronic messages between financial institutions. And this model is supposed to replace the current financial messaging system because a lot more useful data can be included in these messages, to a point where institutions can communicate everything about their transactions without having to send an email or make a single phone call. There are only a few blockchain networks that are compliant with this standard. This means that they can accommodate international money transfers while meeting the requirements of the standard. Now, a lot of investors are bullish on these ISO 2022 compliant cryptocurrencies because of the possibility of their networks being implemented in global banking systems. And that's huge, which is why many believe that these assets have the potential to appreciate significantly down the road. Now, while Stellar continues to build on their blockchain tech, one thing that's on my mind are my crypto taxes. I know it's been a tough bear market and crypto taxes are probably the last thing that's on your mind, but did you know that you can actually save thousands of dollars if you file your crypto losses? You can use crypto losses to offset any gains you have now and in the future, plus part of your income, which could get an even higher tax refund. If you wanna get your crypto taxes done quickly and easily, you'll need to check out CoinLedger, the sponsor of today's video. Trying it out is a no-brainer because CoinLedger is completely free to use. You only pay if you decide to use them to generate the final report. So if you haven't thought about crypto taxes or are using some other tool that you're not happy with, then you should definitely check out CoinLedger and see how it works for you. I just used CoinLedger for my own taxes and the experience was fast and simple. 
Check this out. Just look at how quick it is to import any wallet address. You can even connect directly to hundreds of crypto blockchains, exchanges, and wallets. And once everything is imported and reconciled, you can then generate the final tax report with the click of a button. Just load that report into TurboTax or send it to your accountant and there you have it. The crypto taxes are all done. So if you want to try it out, check out my link below to get that free trial going and use my second link to enter a weekly giveaway to win a free $300 tax report. Now back to the video. So how does the Stellar Network function? The Stellar Network uses an algorithm called the Stellar Consensus Protocol, which operates on a proof of agreement consensus model. And this is different from the more widely known proof of work and proof of stake systems. The way it works is that nodes that trust each other work together to secure the network. Nodes that trust each other form a trust group called a quorum slice, and there will be a number of quorum slices across a network of nodes. Now each quorum slice could also overlap with another quorum slice and that's due to the fact that each node can be part of multiple trust groups. So when a transaction occurs on the network, these groups or quorum slices will undergo a voting process on whether or not the transaction is valid. This will occur across all overlapping quorum slices until enough nodes come to an agreement, then the transaction is added to the blockchain. One thing to point out is that anyone can set up a Stellar node and participate in consensus by submitting their identification info. However, there are no rewards for those that are running these nodes compared to validators on other networks that earn rewards. So participation as a node holder is solely for the purpose of helping keep the Stellar network secure. When it comes to energy consumption, Stellar is known to be one of the more energy efficient networks out there thanks to its proof of agreement consensus method. Transaction costs are also extremely low with one cent covering the cost of about 10,000 transactions. The network is capable of processing 1,000 to 5,000 transactions per second and can reach transaction finality in about five seconds. So that's a basic overview of how the network operates. Now let's go over some of the team's accomplishments and how this could impact the future of Stellar. So right from the early stages of development, the Stellar team was able to land partnerships which have helped propel them to where they are right now. In 2016, they were one of the top five blockchain networks to partner with Deloitte in order to provide blockchain solutions for their client base. Stellar's role in this partnership was to build a cross-border payment application for the company's global client base. In 2019, they partnered up with IBM and this led to the development of IBM's own global payment network called Worldwire. Then later in 2021, Stellar began a partnership with MoneyGram, which would help give the company a way to easily convert between USDC and cash. In the same year, they also partnered up with Flutterwave, which helped the company facilitate quick and cost-effective payments between Europe and Africa. Stellar also formed a partnership with the Ukrainian government to help them digitize their currency as a central bank digital currency, or CBDC. And Ukraine recently announced that they plan on launching their digital currency as early as this year. Earlier this month, the team launched something called the Stellar Asset Sandbox. This is something that allows anyone to issue, mint, and burn new assets on the Stellar's testnet. The interface is designed to be used without codes, which is a huge plus for those that are looking to build with no coding knowledge. Now, I personally think that Stellar has done a great job establishing itself as an important global payment system. With the list of partnerships that I've mentioned, plus more, the opportunities for their blockchain tech to be adopted in the real world will only continue to increase. What's neat about Stellar compared to Ripple, for example, is that they focused on providing the technology to developing countries. And this gives individuals a way to interact with the global economy regardless of where they live and how much money they make. Not to mention, transaction prices are extremely cheap, which makes things easier for those that may be underprivileged. Providing this level of accessibility is important for real-world adoption of blockchain tech. And I'm excited to see what else the team can achieve as the crypto space continues to evolve and move forward. And that's all folks. If you want to stay up to date with Stellar, definitely check out their website and socials which I've linked in the description below. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. As always, if you have any topics that you want me to look into, let me know in the comments below. And remember, the crypto space comes with a high level of risk overall and none of this is financial advice. I highly recommend doing your own research before deciding to invest. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. See you in the next one.